Hey everybody, happy Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. We recently did a video talking about great buddies for your angelfish, but we also wanted to follow up with a video about fish that may not work out so well with your angelfish. And we've got them broken up into a number of different categories, but these are fish you just wanna be careful on. It doesn't always not work, but a lot of times it doesn't. All right, category number one, those fish that are too fast moving for angelfish, which would be tinfoil barbs, bala sharks, and rainbow sharks. Now those aren't the only fish, but these are examples of fish that are just gonna be too active. We made the mistake of keeping tinfoil barbs and bala sharks with angelfish before, and they got along, at least their temperament was fine in terms of, they didn't really pay attention to one another, but the tinfoil barbs and angelfish, the tinfoil barbs and bala sharks, way too much energy. On the smaller side, yeah, a lot of the rainbow fish, they are also going to be full of energy. And as angelfish grow larger, they tend to be more docile. They just tend to relax and chill out and not swim around the tank quite as much. And when you've got fish that are constantly racing back and forth, that can create a little bit of stress for your angels. Again, it's not so much an aggression issue. It's just the differences in terms of their energy level. All right, for the next category, I would say the ones that tend to nip which would be most barbs and danios. For sure, your angelfish, especially if you get the veil tails, they have really pretty fins. It's one of the reasons why you keep angelfish. And if you've got fish in the tank that are gonna be biting at them and nipping at them, that's never a good thing. And so fish like tiger barbs, probably not a great choice. Most barbs just in general, we've kept them with cherry barbs that worked out okay. But most barbs, you just kinda wanna stay away from. And the danios, Actually, the Daniels have a couple things going on. Yes. The giant Daniels, again, they're absolutely crazy. And so that gets us back into the issue with the rainbow fish and the tinfoil barbs, which is way too fast. And the smaller Daniels, at least for a while, are probably going to start to fin nip at your angelfish. And then a, this wonderful thing happens. The angelfish get a lot larger and the Daniels go missing. <laughs> which brings us to our next category. And that is, that, those are fish that are going to probably wind up being too small to keep with angelfish long-term. Now, besides the Danios being too small in the long-term, there's some other fish that are gonna be too small too. So your smaller rasboras and also neons, uh, pygmy corys. Yeah, not all of your neons are gonna be too small, like the black neons are fine, cardinal tetras might be okay. Once they're approaching about that two inch mark, they're probably going to be safe but there are some neons that stay small. Like your green neons tend to stay a little bit on the smaller side. The gold neons were pretty much on the smaller side. Other fish like ember tetras, you mentioned the small rasboras, especially things like exclamation point rasboras, the celestial pearl daniel Ooh, yeah. would be another one, otherwise known as the galaxy rasbora. So these fish that are going to be sub one inch fish, probably not gonna work out with your angelfish long-term. When the angelfish is smaller and you get those cute little guys that are about the size of a quarter, they're gonna be just fine. As the angelfish get older, any fish that's large enough to fit in another fish's mouth, we can just assume most of the time, yes, it's going bye-bye, it's gonna become fish food. Now, another category, which kind of splits itself off into two, is aggressive. Now, who's gonna be the aggressor? Your angel or the other fish? Now, when the angel is the aggressor, you need to watch out for if you're gonna keep them with long fin guppies or bettas that would probably not work out. Yeah, any smaller fish that's gonna have long flowing fins, as the angel fish gets older, it doesn't always work out horribly, but there is a chance that those fish are going to be picked on a little bit by the angel just because of those longer flowing fins. On the flip side, there are some fish that you might wanna reconsider if you're gonna be keeping them with angels because it's the angels that might be on the receiving end of all of that aggression. First of all, African cichlids. Most African cichlids, whether we're talking about imbuna or peacocks, that's just not a good mix. They're too active. Really, you can get into a conversation about water parameters and diet, but generally speaking, once they start to assert themselves in the tank, that angelfish could become a, a target for sure. Most South American cichlids on the larger side, I'm thinking things like your Jack Dempsey's, your Red Devils, that kind of thing. Uh, maybe your Firemouth cichlids, Texas cichlids, green terrors, these larger, medium, medium to larger size cichlids, South Central Americans, often they're gonna to wanna to run the tank and that angelfish does not have the strength or the speed to stay out of their wrath. <laughs> the last thing to consider is when you have too many angels in a tank. Mm -hmm. This is a really interesting dynamic and it's a complicated one because 
sometimes it works out just fine. Other times, once you get angelfish that begin to pair up, they're going to want to protect an area of the tank. Now, in a large six-foot tank, is that going to be a big deal? Maybe not. If you're keeping them in a 55-gallon, that might be a bigger deal if you've got four other angelfish in there and now you've got a pair that have commandeered one entire half of a 55-gallon tank. So just be aware that if you keep multiple angelfish in a tank, sometimes as they mature and start to pair up, that can be an issue. Sometimes it works out just fine. All right, everyone, so those are some fish that may not work out in your angelfish tank. Would love to hear from you in the comments section below. Have you had any experience with these combinations? Did it work? Did it not work? Are there any things that just absolutely did not work with your angelfish? If you want some options of things that do work well, check out this video down here as well as in the description below. Appreciate you being here, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.